All right, here we go. Uh, 42. You, you got to trust me more than that. I'm not throwing 42 times 12 of you before 9 in the morning. All right, first thing we have to do is distribute. In this one, there's distribution on both sides. So we got to multiply 2 times both things. We go 2 times 3x, we get 6x. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Other side, all we're going to do is distribute the half. If you like it as a fraction, you go 12 times 1 divided by 2, or you can just think a half. What's half of 12? 6. So half of 12x is 6x. What's half of negative 16? Negative 8. Okay. Well, shoot, I didn't do that on purpose, but that worked out. Um, now we get to this point. Uh, we have a 6x and a 6x, and I would get the x's on both sides. So what I'm going to do is subtract 6x from both sides. Okay. And that would give us 0 minus 8 equals 0 minus 8. That means negative 8 equals negative 8. I guess if you want to get things by themselves, you would add 8 to both sides. That gives us the value 0 equals 0. Is that a true statement? Okay, there are two little funky situations when we're doing uh, equation solving. Sometimes it works out to not like x equals 7 or something like that. It works out to just 0 equals 0. And if that's the case, that means it didn't matter what we plugged in, it was going to work. What's the easiest way to say no matter what I put into this equation, it works? All real numbers. Fantastic. That's going to save us tons of time because that's what part four was going to be. But we did it in part three. Acceleration. We don't have to do part four now because we're doing it right now. So if it works out to work, that's all real numbers. What if we're doing a problem and we go like boom, 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 and at the final part we get something like 3 equals 7? Is that true ever? Is there anything you can plug in to make 3 equal to 7? Right? Not unless we get in like some quantum infinite physics or something where nothing makes sense or just, you know, chemistry. Uh, if it ever is untrue, then what's my answer? We say no real solution because unless there's a TARDIS involved that solution is not happening right so those are the two exceptions if the variable gets completely eliminated either it works for everything or it works for nothing and if we look back at our example probably it's made something seasick sorry if we look back at our example all real numbers you literally could plug in anything you wanted and it was going to work right like I could plug in one that's going to give me 12 Minus 16 is negative 4. Half of that's negative 2. Over here, that would give me 3 minus 1 is negative 1. Times 2 is negative 2. Hey, that worked. But I could have just as easily put in 10. That would give me 120 minus 16 is 104. Half of that is 52. If I put in 10 over here, I get 30. Minus 4 is uh, 26. Doubled is 52. No matter what you put in, it works. Okay? And that's how you check all real numbers. Do you think it's all real numbers? Take a number, stick it back in. Technically, you should try two and make sure they both, but honestly, you try one, it's really low probability you just happen to try the one number that works. So, Any questions on that? In that case, ladies and gentlemen, you still have a bit of time.